This is Lesson 3 in Module 4. The objective is to interpret a fraction as division, and it covers Standard 5 and F3. So in this equation, they're giving you the mixed number of 1 and 2 fifths, and we have to figure out what the improper fraction is, what the unit form is, what the division expression is, and then check it using the standard algorithm. So if they're giving you the mixed number, it's pretty easy. The first thing you're going to do is figure out the improper fraction. Now this example comes off the homework. It's letter 1B on the homework. So 1 and 2 fifths, if I wanted to convert that to an improper fraction, I would multiply my denominator times my whole number. 1 times 5 is 5, and then I would add 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7 and my denominator stays the same, so I get 7 fifths. I know that 7 fifths means the same thing as 7 divided by 5. So I could write my division expression, 7 divided by 5. Now how do I know that? Think back to when we were working with improper fractions. If I had 7 fifths as an improper fraction, Remember we always would talk about the 7 would go diving into the water, would swim underwater. So this division equation, when you read it, reads 7 divided by 5. That's how you can figure out the division expression. Now, when it comes to unit forms, think about what you learned in Lesson 2. You can use this division expression in a word problem. If I had seven crackers and I wanted to share them among five people, how many crackers would each person get? So you can do one of two things. You could draw out your seven crackers and then split them into fifths. Or you can start thinking about what we talked about in class. Seven divided by five would be how many fifths divided by 5. So in order to figure that out, you would multiply 7 times 5, and you get 35. So you would get 35 fifths divided by 5. Okay, because you have those 35 little pieces of cracker, and you're sharing them among 5 people. And 35 fifths divided by 5 equals 7 fifths. Okay, so your uniform is 7 fifths, your improper fraction is 7 fifths, your mixed number is 1 and 2 fifths, and now I need to check it. So I'm going to go back to my improper fraction, 7 fifths, and my 7 is going to go diving into the water. 5 goes into 7 one time, 1 times 5 is 5, 7 five minus 5 is 2, and I have 1 and 2 fifths as the answer. That's how you know you're correct.